government is conspiracy sent to kill us all, dude. So this is a this is a cardboard plane that I built out of cardboard from the dumpster. The wings are uh, laser cut. The wings are laser cut. Or I guess the, the ribs are laser cut. Um, and it's extremely tail heavy because the tail is too heavy. <laughs> This part that holds the wing spars together is 3D printed. So we're gonna try and do a maiden flight here. <clears throat> Built it in about 30 minutes, minus the wing, which was a prototype for a school project. Okay, now I'll go throw it off that hill. Trusty cameraman John. <laughs> Daniel does look really odd in those pants, and I can't tell if it's the pants or if it's just because he got the yellow mustard color. <laughs> Do I look that weird when I wear those pants that I have in green? I don't know. His pants kind of match the plane. His pants kind of match the lines of the road. True. Dude, the FAA is going to come hunt you down. Take it up really high and do a nose dive. If I did that, the wings would rip off. They look like they might rip off right now. Wow, the dumpster plane flies. Is that motor and propeller on it just so strong that it like keeps it in the air? Uh, no, if, I mean the air it has a nice wing airfoil. Oh. Like it flies. See, they're just gliding. It does. But it is really powerful. Yeah. It can go almost oh, yeah. straight up. <laughs> That's a pretty big battery though. It's a pretty heavy plane because the cardboard's heavy and the battery's heavy. You should put a night vision camera on the bottom <laughs> of one of them and then just fly it over like a party street at night and just spy on people and just be like, the government, dude, I'm <laughs> sick of it. Any words? Oh, I can't see which way it's going. It might need a little, oh Jesus. Yeah, the wooden fuselage boom is pretty wiggly. Trying to hit me. Um, when I turn really sharp, it definitely bends a bit. I'll do a low flyby on the grass. It's very graceful. Here we come. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to pull out of this. I need to go up. Why don't you just thread the needle through there? I could. You build it? Yeah, this nice. is the first flight. First flight? Yeah. It starts so good. Yeah. What kind of range do you have, do you think? Uh, probably a few hundred feet, but I wouldn't be able to see it at that distance. Come on, Daniel. <laughs> oh, it's going too fast. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. Did it come in a kit? No, I just uh, built it out of cardboard I took out of the dumpster at the university. And then this is just a wooden stick. That's... So. Is this just like a duct tape type stuff? Yeah, it's lighter? just uh, called covering film and you kind of iron it on and it like shrinks down. Oh really? So you heat it up so it contracts and... Yeah. And then you just had an electric motor and... Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. One. You hit the smart car. <laughs> One, two, three. You're coming in too hot! Hit the truck. Oh, crap. I think the motor was connected with one screw, or at least the motor mount, and it kind of bent, but it bent back. Now it's just a little wiggly, and I gotta, gotta re glue it. All right, well, that was a good first flight. Let's go home. How's the flight path? Um, chill. It's not the easiest plane to fly, so you just need to keep it at like mid throttle and just steer it like a car. Okay. And maybe use a little up elevator every now and just then. Just a little, though. Yeah. It definitely kind of likes to go into dive turns on its own. Dive turns. kind of sketch. Oh. Let's start off this drone. Maybe I'll take off, and then I'll give it to you. I'll take it nice and high. And then you can run off. Don't it. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll try and chase it a little bit.
leave at midnight. Good boy. Happy. Damn, on this go. Let's go. <laughs> How much experience do you have flying RC planes, John? Uh, it's my third time. Third? Yeah. What was the first one? My V-wing. Uh, the wing you built? What was the second time? Paper airplane. The power up paper airplane? I don't think that counts as an <laughs> RC plane. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to be done or not? Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> um, we're going to test the spar strength on the cardboard plane because basically this part here is 3D printed um, and then there's these little wooden spars that are probably pretty weak and then they go into the 3D printed PLA material part. So we're gonna go straight down and then pull up really hard and see if, uh, see if it breaks or not. Is that the fastest way to gain altitude? No. <laughs> I don't want to hit the drone. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Oh, it didn't break. It bent a little bit. I was <laughs> if it if I would have pulled up like a millisecond sooner, it would have not hit the ground. It just barely skimmed the ground. That was highly unfortunate. <laughs> 